morning, everybody. It is time for the Orthopedic Minute, and we are being joined by one of the doctors from uh, DMOS in studio with us, Jackie. Here we have uh, Dr. Mark Isaacson uh, joining us now to talk a little bit about something that a lot of people are going to be having to deal with here in the very near future, and it's talking about your knees. Yeah, those joints, uh, they don't always age the, the best mm -hmm. with the rest of us. So thank you, doctor, for being here. And we, we want to kind of talk about knee replacements and how they've evolved and when you might know we need to come in and see you. No, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me here. Um, well, as we talked about in the past, I know several weeks, my partners have been here talking about the joints that get arthritic. Right. Hips, we've talked about outpatient joints. I know you talked about recently. Well, the number one joint in our country that's going to wear out or the one that gets surgery the most often would be the knee. It is. That's number one. Correct. Number one that we would get a knee replacement or a joint replacement for, let's okay. put it that way. But there's multiple types of joint replacements. So what I wanted to discuss was not every joint or every knee needs a total knee replacement. There's partial knee replacements. There's other types of replacements you can do for Really? Your knee. Okay, so you don't have to have the whole thing reconstructed, just the parts that are wore out. That's correct. Okay. That's exactly right. So um, what are we looking at at the screen here? Yeah, so the first picture there on the screen is just kind of depicting what a total knee replacement looks like, which would be on the right side of the screen okay. versus on the left, which is a partial knee replacement. And so as you can see, it, it's a smaller amount of metal. The white in the, on the screen is the metal. And so you're remaining or leaving behind two thirds of your normal cartilage and your normal knee. So okay. that's why we call it a partial. It's not replacing the entire knee. And, and what specific part of the knee probably needs replaced the most? Good question. If I can show you the model yeah, here, I'll absolutely. demonstrate. What, so if you start here on this side, this would be a healthy knee. Uh, what, and what are we seeing inside here? Good question. So this is your thigh bone or your femur, okay. tibia on the bottom. And so if I was to bend your knee 90 degrees like we're sitting in a chair right now, okay. these are the two condyles or the ends of your femur. So that's healthy looking cartilage. As we progress through the model, and I'm just bending it to show you as, as, as if it's in 90 degrees, you'll start to see some mild progression of arthritis. And then this becomes moderate. You can start to see the wear of the arthritis, particularly right in there. And that's where, the, where it's wor wearing out. Correct. Okay. And by where are the cartilage, that's the cartilage, I describe it as the cartilage that lines the ends of your bones. Now what happens to that cartilage? Is it is it dying? Is the material dying itself? Or what, what, what yeah. becomes of it? Exactly right. And so on this last model, it really depicts, if we can show it one more time, yep. both sides of the knee being entirely worn out. As you described, it's really a multifactorial process. Age plays a factor. I think genetics is probably the biggest factor of why your knee wears out. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is just the cartilage is wearing thin, or in this case, completely worn out and gone. So if we're getting to that last one that you're showing us, is that a total knee replacement, or can you still do a partial Good there? question, Jackie. That would be a total knee replacement That's if you're total. looking at that model. So then, okay. then partial would be the, the middle two here? You got it. Okay. And if, they go, if we go to the PowerPoint, there's a nice slide that shows progression of the arthritis too. Okay. Right there. You there. Go. So yeah, th this is just a, a grading system or classification system, which is a little bit um, uh, detailed, but if you follow it across, um, you can start to see the inside compartment getting more and more, the black space is becoming less and less. And that's how I describe it to my patients, that black space, which represents your cartilage, starts to wear out. Uh, okay. And when that's gone, that's indicating you're gonna Okay, where it says doubtful there, uh, explain what that means. It's just meaning that it's, not normal cartilage, but it's not really progressed yet. It's starting to pre present as so. You wouldn't wear. need anything if it's grade two doubtful. Correct. More we're talking conservative treatments, more like a cortisone shot or right. anti-inflammatory medication. But it, we're eventually, when you get to that grade four, we're talking bone on bone, basically, Co right? Exactly right. Okay, so can we take a look at. The, let's start with a partial, so we yeah. can see what the partial is. And what you're going to do is you're just, you're just going to replace the worn out part you of your it. knee. Is that the idea? Exactly right. And so if I use this model here, if I can pull that off. A partial, if we show you on this model here, if you can, perfect. So this is looking at your knee once again straight on from the front. If you bend it to 90 degrees, you can see there's only metal on the inside oh, wow. compartment. So, so what is that, uh, it's just replacing cartilage or what is that replacing? Yep, just the worn out cartilage. Just so. the worn out cartilage. So you would have replacements here on the on the top bone and on the bottom one too, so you have uh, a, like uh, just a couple of plates that are in there? You got it, so it's metal on the end of the thigh bone and top of the shin bone and in between that white is a piece of plastic that sits in between the two metal components. But in this case, this model is representing what we call a medial or inside portion of your knee, partial knee replacement. Now, is this the, the portion of the knee that would wear out most likely? Correct, about 85% of knees wear out in this pattern where the inside compartment wears out quicker And why than is that the case? Good question. It's just natural progression of our knees. So that's to say 85% of us fall into that category, 15% go the other way where the outside wears out more quick. But playing the averages, 85% are going this way. Now, just looking at the partial right now, that still looks like that's somewhat intensive. Maybe not on your <laughs> side, but on my side. Uh, it, w talk about how long is that surgery, recovery, if we're just looking sure. at a partial? Great question. Yeah, comparative. We always compare things to a total knee replacement. Right. The benefit to a partial in about 
I'd say 15 to 20 percent of patients in my current practice and probably in most of my partner's practice qualify for a partial as opposed to a total that benefits, I think they're yep. perfect on the slide there, is a quicker recovery, mm -hmm. a shorter operation, a little bit shorter, but with that less blood loss, less risk of complication from the surgery. Mm -hmm. But big thing I think is a quicker recovery and then also your knee feels more like your normal knee. Okay, let's explain the quicker recovery sure. co compared to like say a partial knee replacement. Uh, what kind of recovery period are we talking? Good question. So I always tell my patients a total knee replacement, if you're replacing the whole knee, probably three to four months of three to four recovery. months. Yes, for six weeks are the hardest, but three to four months definitely wow. for recovery. A partial, I think you almost kind of half that to about six to eight weeks where you're feeling pretty darn good by that end of the six to eight weeks. Wow, I didn't realize it was that long. <laughs> it can be. And, and it sounds like there's a decent percentage that can get away with just doing a partial and they're going to be back to normal. That's exactly right. And I think that Average across probably Des Moines, but across the country, about 10% of people get a partial, mm -hmm. uh, maybe 5 to 10%. But I think that number is actually bigger if bigger. we really looked at the x-rays closely. You could get even more patients with a partial. And, and we're saying it, we're getting uh, uh, work done to our knee. We can go back to the things that we enjoy doing, you know, whether it's uh, golf or getting out and doing activities with sports and things like that. You're saying you're not just going to live with knee pain and struggle. You're going to be able to go back to what you were used to That's love exactly doing. That's exactly right, Jackie. And I have that discussion with my patients a lot and say, they ask, what can I do after? What right. can I do most importantly they ask mm -hmm. and the answer really is there's not really anything you can't do I tell patients don't play basketball don't become a marathon runner but outside of that <laughs> ski hike bike. okay well if that's the case yeah. I think we yeah. can live yeah. with that well okay. if they say ski because to me that's the that's a lot of pressure that's a lot of pressure water skiing on snow skiing all that is very let's talk easy about the really? pain mm -hmm. let's talk about the pain factor here because obviously when people have their knees repaired when they get a partial or full knee replacement uh, there's a lot of pain that's involved with this sure. uh, how much pain and how soon will pain relief come to folks that have a partial and a full knee replacement? Yeah, very good question. It's a couple weeks after surgery. You're going to have some surgical pain for sure. And so I always tell patients, you trade the arthritic pain for what we're going to do, the surgical pain. The good news is that pain goes away. Right. And so partial probably recover, as we've talked about, quicker than a total in terms of the pain as well. Mm -hmm. um, probably within three to four weeks, they're you know back to taking maybe Tylenol for their aches and pains. Okay. Um, in the first couple of weeks, we give them a little something stronger. But it's pretty quick how the relief they receive, especially if they've been living with a painful knee for quite a while. Absolutely. We want to make sure and go to the complete uh, knee replacement just so we can show yeah. everyone what that looks so like. So just if I bring back up that partial here, I'm yeah. going to try to snap that off again. So just to represent the partial meaning just the inside right. versus a total, and the model just happens to be blue here. But if we're looking at a total straight on, end of the thigh bone, top of the shin bone, and the way I describe this to my patients, if you look at it from the side, it's really like a cap on the end of your I was just thinking caps. Correct. So mm -hmm. patients ask, oh, they, th I think, conceptually envision you're going to cut bone, cut bone, and right. take out a big chunk of their knee. And that's not the case. Really, we're just taking 8 to 10 millimeters of worn out cartilage and bone, and we're putting a cap on it. So when you look at it from the side, you can really see how it's a cap going around your femur. Same thing on top of your tibia, and then there's a piece of plastic in between them. There you go. That's yeah. perfect. That's a great description and great uh, visuals here to give people an idea of how to have this done. Now, people want some more information on this. They have a situation that might warrant one of these two procedures. How can they get a hold of you? Absolutely. One, our uh, phone number, and two, our website would be the two best places to go. Um, I believe our current phone number is 224-1414, and that will direct you to all three of our campuses. I just happen to be at the Ankeny I was going to say, where, where, where's your location? Yeah, Ankeny. I'm up in Ankeny. Okay. That Absolutely. works. Great information this morning, and I'm sure with technology and how it's advanced, if you're, whether you're getting a partial or a full, that's going to last you a really long time as well. Absolutely. And we hope these last, and I think the current technology will be 20 to 25 years. So wow. Hopefully, if you're getting this the right time, it's the last time you need it. All right. Thank Wonderful. you, Dr. Great information. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. See, the Appreciate information it. you need to know from this man right here from DMOS, it is 7.